Eagle, though. Ah, tell, tell me. Go. Tell me what you're doing. I'm, I'm recording you. Oh. T tell me what you're doing. Well, I can play a song. What set of reeds were you this just is, using? Uh, that was a uh, full song. That was a... Uh, I think it was, I don't know. Most oh, people, yeah. yeah, most people don't know that all of these things here are different, different sets of reeds and voices. So... Yeah, they... They... they uh, imitate a s sound like this an organ sound what they did they put a low reed and high reed in it mm -hmm. and it sounds like it's it's two voices most popular for it, European people muset even though it's not a full muset, but it's a... What's what's happening with the buttons? How, the buttons how does the, yeah, okay. what's, how do the buttons work? The buttons we have. Okay. Your button. Starting from the bellow mm -hmm. to my left or to your right, and we have the counter bass. That will be a okay. The counter bass will be an E and the bass C. C major, C minor, C seven, C diminished. C diminished. Okay. The reason why we have two rows of bass, this a bass and a counter bass is you can play a chromatic scale without going crazy. So you've got in a full accordion like this, like the real deal yeah, from four Italy. Five. It's four, five, four on five sets of reeds. And the and so the configuration on the chords with the buttons go major, yeah, the same, the same thing, yeah. No major, what. minor, major, minor, seventh, and diminished. And diminished. And the first row close to the bell, it's your counter bass, and that counter bass is for for convenience of the accordion player. And Italo. I uh, I venture to say that most people don't have any idea that right here in Natick, yeah. the owner of Bruno's 
barbershop, yes. is a world-class uh-huh. accordion player. Thank you. And uh, it's just, it's really, truly, it's an honor to have you in here looking at our stuff. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah.